Welcome to Click Geek, part 6 of this video series. In this session, we are going to look at some of the click view objects. So that are statistic box, search object and how the search mechanism will work in click view and uh, the current selection box. So let's switch to click view desktop quickly. We open click view so I have an application sample one uh, which has some facts and dimensions so my fact here is a sales data so now we are going to look at the statistic object so for that that's a, that is also a sheet object let's right click on this put a new sheet object and then click on statistics box okay by default, it will display total count of the value, sum of the values, average, min, and max of that particular field. Okay, so we need to select the field first. So in my case, I'm going to select the sales, and I'll say sales details as the title of that statistic box. Okay, and you can also add these functions right so let's press ok now we'll see so i have when uh, total count a thousand values yes we have only thousand records in there and some of those sales is this one average is 220 and minimum sales value is 120 and maximum is 319 okay this is how this um a quick view of a particular uh, fact can be represented in this statistic box let's look at what are the other settings are available in the statistic box okay so you can give customized labels for each and everything okay so let's check that for this max i say max value that's okay now you can see that max value right this is how you can customize the uh, labels of displayed functions okay and then you can uh, set the cell borders as well and you can also set the number format so what is the number format for this one suppose assume that for the uh, minimum there is a decimal value i want only the integer value let's select the integer for that minimum now you can find only the decimal value so it has ignored uh, the decimal points okay then font you can change the font style in the layout you can change whether it has to have a rounded corner or this what should be the border color and as usual caption okay right so that's about uh, statistic box So next one is search object right so here we have a couple of fields and as well as some data in it now I want to find a value and uh, I don't know in which field the value is existed okay for that I'll create a search object for that as well go to new sheet object and then select search object of that then you can find here all fields or list of the fields so if you want to search from list of the fields right you can specify here or else you can select the fields here so select few fields and add them then you can search from there so in my case i'm going to search all the fields assume that i want to search that has a letter h so letter H is there in four fields. It has listed all the four fields and uh, it has collapsed because it has more than 10 values. So if you want to see what are those values, then expand one by click on this. So there you can find. So I want to find HO, HO. So the HO is there in three fields, product, first name and last name. So this is how you can search multiple fields 
okay true search object and you can also define in which fields the value to be searched as well and you can define the search mechanism as well so by default you have a default search you can use wildcard search means we can use um, asterisk um, or anything as such okay fuzzy search or normal search right so these are the search mechanisms that we have in Clip. so along with this so suppose assume that i have a gender here and i want to search something which is related to this one so in that case let's see so for these genders and if anything that has if any field that has ha in the in a field name so that will be searched here this is called associative search so the list of values that are associated to the current field from where i am searching will be displayed suppose assume if i select a female and i go to the associative search and type that then i can get those values right this is how associated search will work so to switch on the associated search you will i mean uh, just select the search option or this magnifier symbol and then click on the uh, dual arrow symbol and then type whatever you are requ required okay so this is how you can search the associative field values from a list box right then now i have selected female here and let me select some email as well so in my case i have selected two field values assume that i have three fields in this tab and assume two fields in other tab i mean to say an other sheet so if i want to see so what are all the fields i have selected and what are the values that i selected from those fields so in that case the current selection object is very handy so for that the control is control q in the desktop so you can see here the field and the status whether it is selected or not and if it is locked then also you can see that and the values that are being selected so if you want to incorporate the current selections in your uh, dashboard for that case go to new sheet object and then select current current selections box okay and then press ok there you can find and you can also change the values that are selected from the current selection as well in this case i want to select another email yes i can select so or you want to remove the selection just click on this eraser symbol right then that symbol will be right so this is how we can use uh, the current selection box okay so let's clear the selections now i am going to select a female and i'm going to lock this one so how to lock this right click click on lock symbol if you lock this one so even though you clear it it won't get cleared right so the color gets blue color means this is a locked one so along with green a uh, blue sorry green a uh, white and a uh, gray color so this is and another color that is being used in a selection criteria of click view so if the field is get locked the selections are get locked then it will be in blue color so just unlock it right so or else do select excluded in that case what are the values that are being uh, selected those will be excluded and the remaining will, values will be get selected right so so that's all for today's session thanks for watching the video 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब